Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, so today's video, I'm going to be testing cutting some thicker materials, um, just with this standard 80 watt laser. Uh, so I'm going to start with some 12, I think it's 12 mil. Let's have a look. It's 12.7 uh, mil plywood. Um, I think this is marine plywood. I don't know. It's pretty. Looks like it's pretty pretty good stuff. Um, so I'm going to attempt by uh, cutting this one first and we'll go through and do some MDF and different things like that. So I've got some little things set up here. So it's just obviously 10 millimeters a second with 40% power. And I'll go through those different ones and see if uh, any of those make a difference. Um, obviously when I bought this, uh, this laser machine, I'd never really intended on cutting anything kind of thick. Um, the, the thickest sort of stuff I was cutting was six or seven mil. Um, I know it cuts through seven mil plywood without a problem. I have done the, uh, test cuts on the acrylic and, uh, it does 10 mil, uh, acrylic pretty good. Um, but nonetheless, uh, I've had a few questions lately of just basically, uh, you know, how thick it can cut. So I thought I'd just do some of these and, um, yeah, basically see how it goes. So I'll speed it up a little bit so it's not so, um, doesn't take so long. But uh, I'll just point out too that I do have my minimum and maximum uh, settings uh, set there, so you'll see that it is darker as it goes in and out of the uh, the uh, the cut and also uh, start and finish point. So that's the reason for that. Now I do like to think that I've got my machine dialed in pretty good. Um, well, as good as it is to my knowledge, I think it doesn't really have any problems cutting the materials that I do cut. Um, but I definitely wanted to try and have a go at seeing if we could um, cut any of this thicker stuff. So we'll see how we go. Um, and yeah, again, we'll just um, go through and do some different ones. If these ones don't cut through, which I'm reluctant, I don't, I'm not too sure that they will, um, then I'll go through and, and change some settings and see what we can come up with. So I'll just pull that one out there. So that's those different speeds, so quite slow and yeah, uh, nothing at all. So um, we'll have a look and see just how deep they did cut by putting this razor blade that I have in. And uh, yeah, basically seeing uh, how deep each of those cuts are. So five by uh, five millimeters a second with 90% power. I mean, it's going pretty slow and using a fair bit of power. I'm quite surprised that that didn't catch on actually. But um, you can see there, there, you know, there'd be a good few mil deep there and obviously get shallower as we go up to the quicker speed. And that one there is barely in. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go through. I'll just change a few things and we'll do a couple more and um, see how they go. All right, so we're back now. Uh, what have we got to sit here? So I've got two millimeters a second at 70 percent power so that's moving really really slow um now obviously this video is pre-recorded so i know already that it catches on um doesn't quite turn to a fire but it definitely burns this up so um some of these i don't run all the way through uh, and as you can see there clearly there's too much power for uh too slow of a speed um Again, guys, I'm not a professional in any way, shape, or form. I bought the machine and started making some videos and throwing them up on YouTube. So uh, please don't take any of this as gospel. Um, again, I'm just randomly um, you know, changing some settings here and just sort of mucking around. It is a standard machine. Um, I'm going to do this pass here. I'm going to do this one here with two passes. So, um, But again, I think there's just uh, too much power going on. So I have sped it up a little bit. Uh, it's 5 at 70. So that is... It's obviously a little bit of a cleaner cut there, but I'm sure on the second one it's going to go through and just burn that up. So, um, but again, yeah, look, when I bought the machine, it was it wasn't bought for the purposes of cutting thick material. It was never my intention. Um, as I said, the thickest thing I was cutting at the time was uh, six or seven mil. Uh, I do also have a CNC machine that I use, uh, which I use that to cut you know anything that I need to, sort of 15 mil, 16, 20 mil. Um, so the the laser was basically just purchased for the um, tension of doing engraving and things like that so anyway i let that run the second pass even though it caught on a little bit and again it's uh it's definitely not cut through so um it is quite deep though so it'd have to be pretty close i mean that'd be that'd be uh you know probably nine or ten mil there uh, but i think obviously the difference on doing the second pass is that the focal point changes to where the beam hits the material so again doing the second pass it probably does make it a little bit deeper but um with that change in focal point it actually um doesn't obviously cut through so i'm going to go through here again i've got five at 50 so five millimeters a second 50 percent power and i'm going to do three passes on this one so we'll have a look at this and again this is 12.7 mil plywood um 
and uh, it's proven pretty tough to actually get through. So, we'll see how this goes. So this is actually running in real time, I haven't sped this up just so you can see, so that 5mm a second is still quite slow obviously, but 50% power, so half half percent power, um, and uh, yeah, we'll sort of just go from there. And so again here you can see it kind of lighten that up. Um, I think it's, it's either this one or maybe the next one it actually gets a bit of a flame going on it so um, yeah obviously it's pretty sketchy um, but it does go to show that you definitely shouldn't um, be cutting anything and, and walking away from the machine especially uh, if you're unsure of your settings. So I'll let this one run out so this is going to be three passes and I think it's on this third pass here it does sort of light up a bit and then end up stopping it just because uh, you know <laughs> sketchy so yeah just here and again as I said I think it's the the, the change of that the focal point it's uh, it doesn't seem to want to cut it any deeper so yeah as you can see there it does kind of uh, catch on pretty badly and you've got a bit of a flame going in the background there so yeah I'll definitely cut that one off but um, again, it's a standard, it's a standard machine, um, 80 watts um, with the standard lens. I think it's a two-inch lens or something. And I have heard that you can get a four-inch lens that will definitely cut through some of this thicker material. I don't personally have uh, one of those four-inch lenses. I only use this as, a, as I said before. I only use it for for basic engraving and you know, cutting of uh, you know obviously thinner materials. Um, but yeah, you can definitely um, get a bigger one, um, a bigger lens, I mean, sorry. Uh, so yeah, so this one here, I just run the same thing again, but I wanted to run it off the board to actually see how deep it actually cuts uh, through the board. Again, it's at 50% power, so it's, uh, and 5%, uh, 5, 5 speed, so uh, you can see there, obviously, I'll flip this over here, you can see the, uh, the bottom one where it did the second pass is... Uh, Still really not that deep, really. I mean, that's probably only five or six mil. So, you know, again, if any of you guys out there that know a lot more than I do want to, um, you know, put in the comments some some uh, some speeds and powers that I should be using, I'd definitely like to try it again because I'd love to be able to cut some thicker stuff uh, using this uh, using the laser machine as far as that goes with this lens. Um, or, you know, I guess if you think that my machine isn't dialed in properly, I have done all the tests, uh, the alignment tests, everything seems pretty good. So like I said before, I was pretty confident. Um, but anyway, that wasn't really a uh, success as far as the plywood goes. So I'm going to jump over to some MDF now. So this is 9.9, .9, so we'll call that 10 millimeter MDF. And I'm just going to chuck that in, and again, we'll, uh, we'll do this. Now, I'm pretty sure the MDF will cut um, a bit better. Um, and I do sort of cut more MDF uh, and engrave more MDF than I do sort of anything else. But uh, yeah, just set, reset that focal point and then we can uh, jump in and get this one cut. So again, this is just some 10 millimeter MDF uh, running at five millimeters a second with 70% power. So the top one was done with one pass and this bottom one here I'm doing with two passes. Um, so we'll pop these out now and have a bit of a look um, and see the results. So yeah, there you go. So the second one just popped out. That's with two passes. So it's easily been done in one pass. And judging by that, I could probably either, uh, you know, increase the speed or lower the power and get the same result. So, um, so that's pretty good. So that's 10 mil MDF right there. Uh, so now we'll jump over and we'll try some 12 mil uh, MDF. I didn't think I had any, but I did find this piece laying around. So I'll just uh, measure it up and make sure. So get that 12 mil, bang on 12 mil. And uh, I'll run it at the same speeds. I'll do two passes on this being that it's 12 mil. So another two mil on top of the 10. And um, yeah, we'll have a look at that.
Okay, guys, so again, 12 mil MDF, and I ran that at 5 millimeters a second with 70% power and two passes, and uh, yeah, seems like it's cut through perfectly. Um, oh, a little bit of a tab there, but yeah, a bit of an extra push, and that'll pop right out. But again, I think that I could either uh, increase the, uh, the speed or power um, and probably definitely get through that in one pass. I don't think that would be an issue. So yeah, that's good to know. Uh, I'm going to jump on now to maybe some 16 mil MDF, and we'll see how we go with that. All right, guys, so here we are. I've got a piece of 16 mil MDF. Um, I'm going to run through this one. I'm probably going to turn the power up on this. Um, I'll just measure it up. 16, 16.2. Uh, I'm not too sure how this will go because it's definitely on the more thicker side now at 16 millimetres. Um, I'm going to run this 5 millimetres a second uh, with 90% power. Um, so if you remember previously when we were using 90% on the plywood, it was just burning it up straight away. So... Um, yeah, we'll run this one. We'll see how we go. I'm not too confident on this one going through, um, but we'll, uh, we'll run it and see what happens. All right, so that was that done, and that was two passes, and, yeah, we've definitely not gone through on that. So 5%, uh, sorry, 5 millimetres per second, uh, on the 90% power, two passes. Um, so I'm just going to grab this razor blade here and pop that in so we see how deep. So, I mean, it's fairly deep. It's it's actually... I mean, that would actually be pretty pretty close there. So that's interesting. Um, okay, so I'm going to run it again, and uh, we'll see how we go. All right, so uh, all right, so I did the same thing again, but I did three passes, and again, it hasn't cut through. And again, I think that that is because of that focal point, the change in the point where the laser beam hits the the, uh, the material. And looking at that there, I mean, that's probably the same depth as the first cut. So two passes, three passes looks to be the same depth. So yeah, that's interesting. But uh, again, guys, you know, I, I, I'm not a professional. I'm just sort of having a bit of a crack here and mucking around with some different settings. Uh, feel free to jump in the comments and, and put in some uh, speeds or some powers that you think might work for me. And I'll definitely um, be keen to sort of have a crack and redo the video or another video again on, uh, on those different settings. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for checking it out. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.